Hi, and welcome to episode 6 of the Little House Knits podcast. My name is Michelle, also known as Scully B on Ravelry, um, where we also have a, uh, a Ravelry group, Little House Knits, uh, all one word. Uh, Knits has two T's in it. Come and check us out. Um, we have Knit Along going on right now. It's the KBFF, K-A-L. Um, basically, all you need to do is finish a project. Finish a project, post it, um, and then you don't necessarily have to link it to a friend, but you could mention your friend and a recent project they finished. Um, at the end of the month, on March 31st, I'm going to lock the thread, so on April 1st when I record, I'm going to do a random number generator, and you can win a pattern for yourself and for your friend, the value up to $7. Um, yeah, so if you don't want to tell your friend, totally understandable be a nice surprise for them. Um, I know you can see a tail going around. This would be Ego. She, um, she's a little camera shy, but she's very clingy today. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Um, so how has your week been? Mine's been good, I think. Um, busy. Always busy. You know, kids, work, life is just busy. Um, I did want to mention something. Sorry if this sounds like bragging, but oh my god, I was I lost my mind. I was watching the Stockinette Zombies and they mentioned us. They mentioned us. All of us. They mentioned us. How awesome is that? That is so cool. And while that is awesome in itself, um, my son was in the room with me when I was watching. And uh, my oldest, Cole, he was in the room when I was watching and I started, oh my god, oh my god, I, I can't believe what they mentioned, they mentioned it, and they mentioned the podcast, and my son came over, let me see it, let me see it, I want to see it, so I rewound it, and showed it to him, and uh, he was so excited, and he said, oh mom, that's so cool, he goes, that means they're going to watch your podcast too, I'm like, well, sure, we'll say that, <laughs> um, but I just thought it was so cool, and as dorky as this may sound, my 10 year old looked at me like he was proud of me and that was awesome. So, so thank you, Megan and Amy, just for that look on my son's face. That was awesome. Um, so yeah, that was totally cool. Um, what else? Uh, not much else. Not that anybody is local to me, but my youngest son is going to be on TV today, which he's very excited about. Um, the town has a, a telethon for the Scholarship Foundation, and all the second graders get to be on TV and sing today. So that's um, that's the big thrill for us tonight. Um, so I'm actually working during the day today in about an hour. So that's why I'm recording a bit early, although I am a day late. Sorry about that. Um, so let me just jump right into the knitting. There's not a whole lot to report this week. Uh, let me see. Let me get my bag open here. Um, the crazy, the crazy yarn I was knitting on, uh, pretty much got no love. I was just trying really hard to finish the um, the socks for my niece, which I didn't finish. But I was trying really hard, um, and I just didn't get to it. I did take a, a mental break, however, and work on the baby blanket. And let's. See. I did the awesome podcaster trick, putting a uh, stitch marker in so you can see how much I did. Not a whole lot, but just enough to say I did something this week. So, <laughs> so that's that. And then there were the socks. Um, I did I did pretty good considering how much extra. Uh, worky work I did this week, which leaves me no time for knitting. I got, I got one sock done. One, I got a hoe. It's tiny, it's even so tiny, but it's really not. Um, so I have one done. And can you sit please? Sit, 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 sit. <sighs> Probably about one and a third. It's one and a third. Um, and this is the Knit Picks Nitpick Stroll 
hand painted in the um, dolly colorway and I think by the time I finish this sock I'll be able to get three pairs of socks out of one ball of this I did a um, I did one pair of ankle socks that I gave to my mom for Christmas I'll be able to get these done and then I was thinking with the I um, before I started these I split the ball in half so I figured with the two the two little bits that I'll have left, I think I might be able to get a pair of, you know, super tiny baby socks out of it. So, um, that's pretty good. Three, three pairs of socks for, I don't even know how much that, the yarn cost me, maybe five bucks. That's pretty good. So, that's all I'm saying. So, a little bit of blanket, one and a third socks, not too shabby for a week. A painfully slow knitter. <laughs> um, my only dilemma I'm having this week is I really need to start on my um, my zombie retreat shawl and for some reason I just can't get myself to do it. I don't know why. I'm super excited about going but I just can't I can't get myself to to get knitting on it. I feel like I have like crafters ADD like there's 900 other projects I want to start but the one that I probably should start is the one I don't want to start so I don't know procrastination <laughs> watch me try to crack it out the first week in June yeah that's not gonna work um, <laughs> we'll see now I've been all over the place like oh I have that project from six months ago I should finish that or you know don't we need coasters we don't use coasters um yeah we need all these other things except for that thing I should be knitting on I don't know oh been a bad girl I need to get on track that was my goal for this year with my knitting is to get a plan get on track so I will see hopefully I keep saying yeah at the end of the month I'll start it the end of the month who knows who knows if I will but anyway, so I think that's about it. There was just, uh, you know, not super lot of knitting. Like I said, I worked a lot Sunday, Sunday? Yeah, Sunday we went to crazy lengths to rearrange the kids' bedroom. Uh, like I've said before, Little House Knits, really tiny house. We spent um, the entire day Sunday trying to divide a um, basically nine and a half by 13 bedroom into two bedrooms because the kids no longer want to be near each other they want their own rooms you know they're very mature and they need their own space so uh, it was a challenge but I think we've done it we'll see we're letting them live in it for a little while to uh, see if they can coexist happily in their super tiny bedrooms um, there's that and also Saturday uh, we did have a birthday party to go to, which afterwards we went to the movies and saw The Great and Powerful Oz. It was really good. I liked it. Um, I, it did made me, it made me want to, one, go back and watch the original movie, and two, it made me want to read Wicked, so I think I might um, start doing that soon, but uh, no, it was really good, and the kids really liked it, and uh, Seamus gets a little skittish at scary parts and he was good through the whole movie so that was I thought it was really good so um stop by the group let me know what's going on in your life or your knitting life your real life not that your knitting life isn't real it's totally real um <laughs> so stop by the group say hello let me know what you're working on I'm always excited to hear from you guys um yeah, so that's about it. Have a really great week, and thanks for stopping by the little house. Happy knitting. <laughs>